You see him? He's in the girl's pen, which we left him in there last night. But he was um, out here yesterday. Now, I looked out, and lo and behold, he was in the middle of their pen. Now, the gate was sitting just like it is now, just partially open. So he didn't go through there, and he had his block in there with him. The closest, or the nearest thing that we can figure is that he came around over here because he had butts his block a lot. Where did I see that? I might not see it now. But he might have came up with, oh, here it is. We figure he came over here and bumped his block until it rolled under the wire here. You see, you can lift that up. The girls could actually sneak under there if they wanted to. But you can see that there's scuff marks right here. Anyway, he might have rolled his, bumped his block with his head, which he does a lot, to roll it around. Uh, rolled it under here. And then scooted under here himself. Because he was out in the middle of the pen. And it's the only place that we could see where it looked like it was scuffed up. Crazy goat. Anyway, we left him in there last night. I always... Oh, he's going to tear that stanchion up. I always put the girls up late in the evening. When it was warmer, I didn't mind them being out. But now that it's cooler at night, I put them up so that they can get in their house. Well, he was hogging the house last night. And it looks like he's kind of bumped it around. It's not looking too good. They don't, they don't do any damage at all to anything. He's just a rascal. I kind of don't like him much anymore. But he's a good breeding goat. And you can see he's very stocky. So if we get any babies out of this next go round, well, we should have some for meat. He's always peeing on his beard. Anyway, sometime today my son will come out and drag him back out again. We've got to come out and work on his house a little bit. He's pretty rough on it. We put it together with put this roof on it with uh, roofing screws and assembled it with big old three inch decking screws uh, but we're gonna have to get this other side covered so that he can be out of any weather much as I don't like him I don't want to see him suffer out here in the cold and stuff look, look at him Milk stamping up, and I can't. I'm not going to go in there with him because he he charges at me. Maybe he'll come around the other side. I don't know. Anyway, uh, basically it's fairly weatherproof as far as the rain and stuff, <clears throat> but we do have to put something. We're going to have to put something across these. And uh, we can probably cut part of this off and put it across here, but it'll only go about this far. And then we've got some other stuff over there that we can put on the other side. Then uh, he can... See what he does? Fights everything. He's fighting a stump. He's fighting a stump. Good grief. Crazy goat. Anyway. Squirrel. <laughs> uh, we get distracted by these goats. Anyway, we'll cover this side of his roof. This side here. And uh, get him more out of the weather. I noticed when it was raining the other day, it was raining straight down. And he was over under this part. But I think that rain was still coming in this side. So, anyway, and he, he drags this thing around. When he's, he'll butt on it and everything and push it around. He pushes that 80 pound, well at least 80 pound block of concrete all over the place. Drags it everywhere. He's strong as a dang ox. Anyway, the girls, wherever you put their block, 
that's where they stay. They don't drag their block unless the block rolls a little bit, but they don't drag it. They don't go anywhere. They stay good girls. Did I tell you we finally named them? We've only had them about four years. Huh? Anyway, and we've tried and tried to think of good names. They're not going to come to their name anyway because we got them when they were practically grown. But we named this little one Brenda. And we named the big one, where is she, Susan. I don't even know why. It just seemed right. It seemed to fit them. I usually wind up start calling her mama anyway. And I named the buck a long time ago. I named him Mr. Stinky Buck because he is. He's supposed to be all white. He's not brown and white. That's just stains from him peeing on his beard and face because that's what bucks do when they're in rut and he is in rut okay thanks for watching